Hi there, welcome to The Social Space. This is the show all about Wichita Falls, Texas, and the whole wide world. Our partners in crime, I'm going to yes. call it Jackie. That's K-A-U-Z Channel 6, 10.30 yes. p.m. Or so after the news if it runs late. Yeah. There you go. Whatever suits your fancy. <laughs> I mean, we have people that really set their clock to it. Their clock. And then we have people that watch it like the next day. Okay. It's yeah. 1031 right now. Set your clock. Right. 1031. 1030 a.m. You can hear us on News Talk 1290 because Town Square Media yes. is our partner. And also Impact Signs at Falls Truck Center. Hey, Tanya and Sean. Tanya and Sean celebrating 20, 20 years. years in business this Ribbon week. cutting. Yep. We did good. That was great. We? It yeah. was. So I got a go. free hot dog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We got oh, to be in the video. and I did get some secret sauce too. I haven't tried yet, right, Tanya? <laughs> I'll share it with you. <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, I'm Eric Crossland. No secret sauce here. It's all it's all out in the open. Uh, sitting to my left, Jackie, secret sauce Hager. <laughs> Tell us what you meant by that. I will. It's Andrew, Bill to your left. Any yeah. secret sauce over there? No, it's margarita mix. Oh, oh wait a minute! <laughs> I see that. It's the new. What, what's it called, Andrew? See, see, see ya. See ya. Yeah. Some see ya margarita oh, mix. Oh, yeah. I've seen Tanya post by the about chokes. that on Facebook. Okay, all right. Well, hey, <laughs> let's not quit being rude and ignoring our guest <laughs> over here. City councilor, district yes. at large, yet so much more, yet so much less. Bobby, right <laughs> Bobby thanks for being here. Yeah. How you doing? Thanks for being here, buddy. Great, great. Glad uh, to be here. How long have you been uh, our city councilor now? Three years. Three yep. years at large. There you go. But you also, you used to be a firefighter. This is our Operation Santa Claus show. Yes. And what, what, what did you ask him? What position do you hold in the state of Texas? I'm the first district vice president for the Texas State Association of Firefighters. Oh, okay. That's awesome. What do you get to yeah. do with that position? Well, it's, uh, it's you know, it's about uh, health and safety for firefighters. Uh, my district, uh, goes from Wichita Falls to El Paso, oh, wow. all the way down to uh, Del Rio. So I got San Angelo, Amarillo, you know, Abilene, Midland, Odessa, Lubbock. Yeah. They're all in, in my district. Texas is so big. District 1 is biggest district. It's not the most populated district, but it's the biggest district. So I represent about 2,500 firefighters in my district. Wow. Well, nice. You know, um, Bobby, I feel like you're family to our office. Uh, and my personal family, but we go way back with Operation Santa Claus, all of the bikes over the years that our office has been honored to help you collect. Tell us a little bit about Operation Santa Claus and how it got started. Wow, you know, uh, this shows how old I am, you know. <laughs> yeah, old. You know, wow, <laughs> way old. Yeah. I like to use the word seasoned. Yeah. <laughs> so, the beard says it all. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's not real popular right now at home, but I'm, I'm rolling with it. Yeah. So we'll see how long that goes. Yeah. Yeah. But I've never got to this point, so I'm going you know, yeah. to yeah. yeah. play all the cards. You're looking like a fit Santa Claus. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> thank you. To go back, you know, we used to be Toys for Tots, yes. and that's a Marine thing. And, you know, they're tough guys. We didn't want them to beat us up, so we yeah. had to change our name. Yeah. So, you know, it's uh, Operation Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. And way back in the day, you know, when uh, this guy was running around in, you know, diapers. We used to get old bicycles, yeah. and we would repack the bearings and new pedals and new tires and new tubes and new seats and paint them sometimes. We did all that at this time of year at the fire station. And uh, we get toys and clean them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. people would drop off toys, you know, and uh, a lot of families, you know, they buy their kids new toys, they bring us their old toys, we'd refurb them. We did a lot of that, and it got to the point where you know, it was so big, we didn't have time to do that. Sure. So, and uh, so it, it transitioned into, uh, you know, we'll take new toys uh, and we'll take donations so we can purchase new toys and new bicycles. And, you know, and it kind of, it's evolved from there. And then we partnered, uh, how many years ago, Jack? With, uh, oh gosh. With your marketing class. Ten years ago. Yeah, and yeah. and uh, that kind of kicked off our bicycle bicycle yeah. campaign to where used to bicycles were just part of it, and the the toys we gave away at Christmas uh, we had so many firefighters. I'd, I'd be negligent not to mention some of the guys you know that you know uh, Brian Richardson back in the day. You know he's a retired lieutenant, and uh, some of those guys they they they're the ones that brought this thing up, and then you know and then Randy's. Randy Reel's the new current, you know, yeah. genre. And then, of course, you know, Blake's taking 
taking the ball. And, but we had so many guys and, and, uh, that some that are not with us anymore that propelled this program. And, but uh, the, it's just such a, it's such a heartwarming thing. Yeah. And when you help other people, and uh, even if you just write a check, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that check you know is going to children in our community, but, but way back in the day, a bicycle, if we could get somebody a bicycle, that was, a, that was the cherry on top. Yep. You know, yeah. and then we, we did the marketing campaign with your class, and we the bicycle did. thing has just been phenomenal. So, well, I always was, feel like even with technology, kids still love bikes. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I call that your first sense of freedom. Yeah, I remember getting mine. The bar was missing on top. My <laughs> friends in the neighborhood quickly told me, well, that's a girl's bike. Oh, uh, which, you know, to a little boy, <laughs> you know, the biggest insult you have. But I still, I still love that thing. You know, we just rode them all around the neighborhood. Yeah. Why oh, is yeah. it it's still important to give bikes, Bobby? Well, I'm still trying to get past you. You had a girl's bike. <laughs> I'm not surprised at all. Now, now I get them on purpose. <laughs> it's more comfortable. So I'm sorry. What your question? I'd love to bust your chops. Uh, why, uh, why is it still important to give bikes out? Because, you know, it's, it's, it's like Jackie said, it's that yeah. first, it's that, you know, that little bit of freedom. Mm -hmm. yes. And you get to go down the street past, you know, you know, uh, bust your limits a little bit yeah. when you're a little kid. And uh, it, it's just, yeah, bicycles are forever. Yeah. I mean, yeah. gosh, they're more popular now than when, you know. Oh yeah, I was a little kid. It's it's bicycle just, city, and uh, plus you can spend a lot of money on if you want to. But, yeah. Oh yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, bicycles cost more than my first car. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Some of those that they race yeah. in the hotter hell hundred. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the bicycle campaign that your marketing class started with the with the firefighters is, uh, I I would be scared to even guess how many bicycles we've bought in the last ten years. Oh man, I bet we're close to five thousand bikes. I know just that one year we went and took four hundred bikes to Houston right after Hurricane Harvey. We had four hundred here, four hundred down there, and that was in one year. Collecting with the Red River Best Chevy dealers, around eight to nine hundred bikes a year. It's amazing. Yes. Over ten years. Yes. Yeah. Over Times ten. 10. Years. Wow. You know, Bobby, I having little girls and uh, you know helping them in the driveway and seeing the joy that they have when I finally let go of that seat and they make that turn all by themselves there's no other feeling like that um, do you have a story that you remember with Operation Santa Claus and and something that was very meaningful to you uh, you know there's always there's always a bunch I mean and there, there's there's so many organizations you know this starting now between now and Christmas and the first year that in, in our community that help people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got a close friend and uh, he's uh, started, you know, it's, it's really, it's not a nonprofit, it's just a thing he started a few years ago, uh, taking donations and, and uh, to, to help families. Uh -huh. And he goes to different places and finds out, you know, who, who is needy. Mm -hmm. And who who not needy, but who needs a who needs a boost right now? Sure. And he'll pick three or four families, however far his funds can go. And uh, he made a call, you know, in the eleventh hour. You know, uh, there's a there's a couple of kids we forgot. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. so he calls us, knowing that you know maybe do we have any extra bicycles? And mm -hmm. it was a bicycle story. Mm -hmm. And you know, and he calls the next day, and I mean, it's a, you know little misty-eyed thing and tearjerker and sure. uh, and it's it, uh, you just uh, it's hard to put into words the feeling that doing something to help other people yeah. at that level you know makes how it makes you feel real quick because we're going to yeah. continue talking about yes. operation santa claus with our, our next guest blake blevins but let's let's get it uh, pinned down right here right now bobby whiteley 2022, are you going to run for mayor of Wichita Falls? <laughs> Let's get a yes, right, Jackie? That's what okay, we want, you, right? you heard it here first. <laughs> well, first of all, our mayor just got reelected. Yes, yeah, he did. It's, and it, and it's a three year term. Oh, is it really? So That's right. His math just skills got are. Moved. Yeah, yep. yeah. Oh, 2023. You don't, hey, listen, don't try to sidestep the question <laughs> with the technicality. Can I put you down for running for mayor? How many bicycles are you going to buy? No, uh, no. Jackie, you would fund me. Uh, and I'll be your vice mayor. Do they do that? Vice mayor? Do they still have they that? Do. Yes. They do a tater now. Yeah. Do they do well, tater hey, Bobby, thank you for coming. I know you yeah. had the city. We taped these on Tuesday. We know you had a city council meeting this morning. And yeah, Very exciting. And, and, yep. and then yep. you had to come over here. So uh, 
the day of a councilman's never done. Council, by the way, if people don't know what councilor at large is, you know, if you're in, let's see, we're, we're in District 2 right now, so if, if I and I live here, I would call Deandra if I had something to talk about. But if you can't get a hold yes. of your councilor, you call the councilor at large. It has nothing to do with the size. A lot yeah. of people think it's because okay. he's large, and they just gave it to his tall. <laughs> it's that large beard. It's that large beard. Councilor Large Beard. Yeah. Beard Large. Here you go. Right? And you, you encourage people to call you? Sure. 4 a.m., yeah. 3 a.m.? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank well, you. Awesome. Well, thank you for serving us. And it really yes. is, uh, you know, you get a little stipend for gas money to be a city councilor. About really, and it's a lot more work than people think it is. So thanks, yeah. Bobby. Yeah. We the good outweighs the bad. Yeah, there you yes. go. Absolutely. Awesome. Yes. Well, thank you for doing this, and uh, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with Blake Blevins and talk more about Operation Santa Cruz. Yay. Falls Truck Center has parts and is quickly becoming the go-to provider for big truck parts for every major manufacturer on the highway, including thousands of in-stock OE and quality aftermarket brands. With over 45 years combined experience selling and locating those hard-to-find parts, Joseph and Jack are on standby and ready to assist you with any repair project. Need service too? Falls Truck Center can get you in a bay and back on the road within hours, not days or weeks. Come see us at Falls Truck Center next to Flying J. Call us at 940-64-PARTS. Hi, welcome back to the social space. This is the Operation Santa Claus edition. Yep. Eric Crossland, Jackie Hager, Andrew Bell, and now sitting to my right, I always like it uh, when somebody's name is alliterative. Has alliterate alliteration. Okay. Blake Blevins. And he's, he does it with the first two letters. Give it up. Thanks for being here. <laughs> yeah, Blake. Thank you for having me. That sounds like a superhero name, Blake Blevins. <laughs> it does. What, how long have you, uh, you say you grew up in Henrietta, Jackie was just asking you before we started? Yes, sir. I grew up in Henrietta. I still live there. Do you? Still, I, yes, sir. Yeah, I lived in Henrietta for a little bit. When I first moved to town, I didn't quite mm. get to Wichita Falls. I moved to Henrietta first. I liked it. I <laughs> nice. It was nice. Oh, yeah. And really how nice. long have you been with the uh, fire department? I've been with the fire department 10 years now. And wow. what do you do out there? I'm a uh, hoseman with the fire department. Hoseman with the fire department. Yes, sir. All right. Exciting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Blake, every year the Red River Best Chevy dealers also team up with you guys. Mm -hmm. So what does it feel like when you drive out to those dealerships to pick up those bikes for I, operation? It feels really good. It's real nice to be able to go and know we got all that stuff. That way it's there to give to those kids every year. Yeah. Because uh, we really appreciate it when they do that. When they raise, when we get all those bikes, it's really nice to pick them up. <laughs> Blake, if I don't have time to go out and get bikes or, or uh, to help donate, what other ways can I can I donate? Uh, you can donate, obviously here. Y'all can contact Jackie Hager. We also have a GoFundMe page on our Wichita Falls Operation Santa Claus Facebook page that you can click on and donate money there, okay. to where we can purchase bikes okay. through that too. Awesome. Uh, okay. What I've always wanted to know, you guys get all these bikes. Uh, how do you guys get all these out to the kids? Do you guys just re ride them out one by one? Yeah. Them out there? yeah. <laughs> We're partnered with the Salvation Army yeah. along with we also help some of the, lo the schools. We help Washington Jackson and Lamar Elementary School. They collect the names and we'll bring them to them. And they'll, they're the ones who will disperse them to everybody. But they give us all the names of kids and everything that's in need and then we'll bring them to them or we'll get everything together, bring them to them, and then that, they, they'll disperse them to the families. Ah, nice. That's, okay. awesome. That's awesome. What does it feel like, uh, Blake, when you guys go pick up those bikes and you're taking them to those families and those kids? Oh, I it, mean, It's goodness. a great feeling. It's nice to know that that a kid's going to wake up Christmas morning with something under his tree. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that's a good feeling. So I would imagine you need all sizes of bikes. I mean, this is really cute and fun yeah. to buy, and it's a great project <laughs> for a family to go to. Walmart and mm -hmm. buy a bike and then deliver it to one of the stations. Yes, ma'am. But um, I would imagine big kids need bikes too. That's how they get to school. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we could use bikes in every size. Yeah. Uh, we get, uh, the little bikes are great because we do need a lot of those because yeah. we get a whole bunch of little kids, but we also get bigger kids anywhere from ranges. I mean, they could be from five to 12, 13 years old. That's usually our biggest number that we need. So that's the range that we really need brought in if 
if we can have people donate those, it'd be great. Jackie, you want to give that number out one more time I do, for the I Operation do, Santa I do, Claus I wanna, Telethon here? I do. Th that's right. We can call it the Operation Santa Claus Telethon. Now, I will say, with COVID and everything going on and mm -hmm. parents might getting out less and less to shop, it can make it easy if you just want to donate a check yes. or if you want to donate cash. Mm -hmm. You. Um, or you make the check out to Operation Santa Claus yes, for your taxes. But give us a text if you're watching this tonight. You can text me right now and we'll come and pick it up on Monday. I'd, I'd love to see some businesses who have always stepped up to come in. Oh, there we go. I'll hold it up. 940-631-7999. Let's see how much or how many checks we can collect tonight for our firefighters. Are we collecting precious metals, gold, silver? <laughs> no, no, no. Just we just need bikes. My pirate friends, Andrew. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get rid of that booty. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Blake. Is there anything else about this awesome program we forgot to cover? Gosh, just, uh, yeah. I don't think so. I think that's pretty well everything. If you could donate, that'd be great. We could use this year having COVID needs bigger than ever there's a lot yeah. of families a lot more families in need this year than we've ever had so the more donations we can get the better and mm -hmm. i can't remember if it was you or bobby telling us before the show that you said if people don't donate bikes you will not put out a fire if their house is on fire <laughs> oh. was that you <laughs> uh, one of it, someone, did oh. i make that up okay well it's just to be safe donate a bike people. Yeah. <laughs> all right well thank you so much uh, for being here blake we yes, really sir. appreciate it thank we're going to take me. a uh, yeah thanks man we're going to take a break we're going to do a third segment we're going to do two truths and a lie Ooh. with our uh our what, what's what's megan's title up there uh megan is our data scientist. Data? She's, She's a dang old scientist? Yeah. Data, Megan's a scientist? Come I on. call her a data scientist. This is ridiculous. I don't, I don't like this at all. Yeah. All right, so we'll be back with Kill a Meg and Two Truths and a Lie. <laughs> Yay! Imagine 50 of your friends and neighbors without jobs simply because you saved $5 on your monthly car payment by buying elsewhere. Is it worth it? That's 300 jobs between six local Texoma Chevy dealers. Support your Red River Best Chevy dealers. Support your neighbors. And your community grows. Better schools, stronger economy. Shop local. Shopping local creates a higher standard of living for everyone. Red River Best Chevy dealers. Hi, welcome back to The Social Space. Hey, this is our Operation Santa Claus edition. So, uh, you know, there we go. We'll just leave that up, text that yes. number. Eric Crossland here, Jackie Hager there, Andrew Bell there, and now our for our, our entertainment correspondent. <laughs> yes, and data scientist. And data <laughs> scientist, and Megan January. Mining for <laughs> leads. Yes. <Yeah. laughs> Hey, if Kelly's watching lead this minor. week, it's like, lead minor. Lead We're minor. texting him the show. Yeah. Lead minor. Uh -huh, yeah, my science teachers back home are probably choking <laughs> right now. <laughs> like, they're like, what? All the way back home in Burt Burnett? Yes. Yeah. All the way back there? Data well, what? Thanks, uh, Megan. We had you back on by popular demand. A scant yeah. two months after having you on the popular first Popular demand? Wait, was that one of your lives? <laughs> Statement number two. <laughs> right. uh, you were saying, so we are playing Two Truths and a Lie, backed by popular demand. This is where you tell two truths, okay. one lie, and then we try to guess which is with Jackie. Let us finish our stories before you start yelling lie this time. Okay, I will. You ruined my stories. You know, my dad says that he lies 50% of the time. <laughs> So which part of that statement is yeah. like, is he lying about that? Are <laughs> y'all ready to get going? We're ready. Right okay, I'm, I'll go first because okay. you guys uh, are scared. All right. Uh, well, uh, let's see. This is my first one. I have a cousin named Hannibal and a high school best buddy named Adolf. <laughs> Way to go, moms. Uh, the very first time I played golf was in a golf tournament. I got invited to play at, at, in high school. They just didn't have enough people for the golf team. And I was winning until the 18th hole when I shot a 10 and I lost. Well, I didn't win. Uh, also, very, very much the same. Uh, we had an open spot on the co cross country team. The very first time I ran cross country was in a tournament. I was in first place the entire race until I took a wrong turn and I end up getting fifth. So you got, I got golf, this cross, out. oh, yeah. go ahead, go, Jackie, what's the lie? Just tell me what the lie is. The lie is you did not run cross country. 
Oh, that's very insulting. I'm go <laughs> golf all the way. Golf, golf was the lie. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with number one. Those aren't my my very first golf tournament was the first time I played golf, but I scored ten on every hole. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it was terrible. I shot it's a one. It's not eight. an easy so game. So there you go, Jackie. Yeah. Your turn. Okay, so three great musical artists. They're all on my phone. One, uh, two of them I would go see in concert. One of them I push skip every time it comes on. I don't know how they got loaded to my to my phone. A, the Dave Matthews Band. B, James Blunt. <laughs> Next. <laughs> yeah. I don't and think you C, understand this game, Jackie. And C, wait a minute, Eric Clapton. Which one is a total I, I would never you're, go see? You're Dave Matthews. Yeah, I hope Dave Matthews. James Blunt. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Dave Matthews, I would never go see them. No, oh, Jack, you just gained so many cool I points in my I cannot believe yeah. that you guessed it. Yeah. <laughs> so there. But that's, that's not, the game. I know it's it's not how the game is and that was not how the game was supposed to be played. <laughs> I know, last had <laughs> five minute warning on this one. Last time I texted she, her two hours ago. Yes. Last time she uh, told all truths. <laughs> At this time, because I like, said this was she like, said, guess, what? <laughs> guess what? I skipped on my playlist. <laughs> Somebody okay. joined Happy Hour a little early. My hamburger had three things on it today onions, mustard, or relish. <laughs> All right, Andrew. <laughs> that was too uh, tough. Uh, Jackie. Let's see. I, I haven't had any sort of soft drink. Uh, in probably about four years. Um, I guess that doesn't count LaCroix. We all know that. <laughs> yeah. That's not a soft drink. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a hard the bubbly, drink. The remember? Bubbly. <laughs> um, I have twin aunts named uh, LaWanda and LaVonda. Easy enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I really enjoy uh, fish. Oh. I'm going with the twins as a lie. I'm going to go with fish. Hmm. I'm going to go with the soft drink. Oh, well. It's, it's, uh, I, I really hate fish. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. You do have twins. But I do have twin aunts named <laughs> LaVonda and yeah. LaWanda, I'm named sorry, after my grandpa, <laughs> yeah. LaVon. All right, Killer Meg. Okay. <laughs> so. Number one, that Meg. I have never broken a bone, knock on wood. That's one that Brittany did when she sat in that I think chair. So. And uh, number two, my junior high relay team holds a record for the mile relay. You're on this team. Mm hmm Okay. Mm -hmm. First leg. <laughs> okay. And so um, third, LA, LL Cool J kissed my foot while waiting in line at a restaurant. <laughs> That's so Whoa. specific. Wow. What year was LL Cool J? 1989, probably. How did it get to that point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just guess. Be play, we're supposed to ask First questions. of all, guess. It's no, not interrogation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what led up to this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was the second and one? how old are you? Uh, I was a baby. Yeah. Mm. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, now I think, okay, so what was the second one? My um, junior high track team holds a record for the mile relay. Uh, that's the one I think is a lie. Okay. I'm going with one. The I'm going bone. with the bone. That was a lie. That you've broken bone, lots of that I, I've broken two bones. All right, so what restaurant was the LL Cool J foot yeah. kiss? In? It was at a Furs restaurant, <laughs> if y'all know what that is. It's I like do. a Luby's. Like yeah. <laughs> and my foot, or my foot, my uh, shoe had fallen off my foot. My mom was holding me in line, and he was in front of my mom and picked it up and kissed my foot and gave it to my mom. And the cashier was like freaking out and was like, oh my gosh, do you know who that is? And my mom was like, <laughs> No, she's like that was LL Cool J, and she was like, okay. She still had no idea who it was. 
Did he do the the lip lick thing that he always does <laughs> right after? He... I'm not sure. There's people laugh, <laughs> laughing at that right now. I'm not I know, sure. I know what you're Jesus talking about. <laughs> yeah. But then I always tell my mom that she ruined it because then I guess Richard Simmons was at the mall like a few years later and she let Richard Simmons kiss me. The exercise guy? <laughs> yes. I was like, why do you just Then it became a thing. Kiss the bag and people. Food. <laughs> This explains a lot. Yeah, I know, right? A lot is yeah. crystal clear now. Well, there you go. Tooth, truth, and a lie. Jackie, we're going to keep doing this game until you do it right one time. <laughs> <laughs> I just decided to play a different game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I well, promise I'll do it right next uh, time. We'll see. Well, thanks, Megan, for joining us again. We've had Thank a blast. Yes. This is kind of our Thanksgiving show. This is it the is. last one that's going to air, but thanks. For before Thanksgiving. I know a lot of us are going to be Zooming and having different Thanksgivings yeah. than we normally do, but hey, keep it together, America. We'll get through this soon. Yeah. Yes? Yes. We will. Take it yeah. from your pal, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> On behalf of everybody we saw today, Bobby Whiteley, Blake Blevins, we've got Hay Hayden Gerstner over there, we've got Megan January, Andrew Bell, Jackie Hager, I'm Eric Crossland, and this has been The Social Space. Yay!